Hi guys, it's Cheryl from My Well-Rounded Life, and today I have a new product that I'd like to review and bring to your attention. It is from the company Fit First. It's an electric heater, and as you can tell by the size of the box, it is portable. It says that it's 600 watts, and it is great for places like the classroom, obviously college, not public schools, office, bedroom, living room, hotel, so you can take it with you, and your dormitory. And I have to show it to you because it's super cute. Of course, it came in this, but this box itself came in uh, an Amazon box. And here it is. Isn't it the cutest little thing? It's black. The whole thing is black except for the little blue around the edge. And in the back, there is uh, something for you to open up to access. There's a little spongy um, filter in there that you want to keep clean at all times, of course, with anything like this. And there's an on-off switch. I have it on right now, but and it's plugged in. Um, but there's also switches at the top. Uh, the one in the back turns it off and on. If you turn it on, there's a red light here that will glow and it will start to get hot. If you hit this button again, the light will turn blue and it will, the heat will stop, but the, the uh, fan will still run and it cools down. It doesn't become cold like air conditioner heat, but it, it just cools down. Like maybe you're just getting a little too warm, so you wanna do it again. So you wanna, you know, cool it a little. And then when you hit this button the third time, um, it sets it a 15 second timer to shut off completely. So if you have to just hit the button and, and run, um, it will shut off in 15 seconds, or you could just switch around to the back and turn it off, it doesn't matter. And it also oscillates this little button here oscillates there's a 45 degree oscillation so it's not really um, wide but it's perfect for like sitting at the table or something and also on the bottom you see this little thing listen to it this is a little um, button that has you have to have this flat on a hard surface and it goes in but the moment this tips over it shuts off automatically and believe me I tried it I tried it and it just tipped I just tipped it over and it turned right off immediately. So I will, it comes with a, a booklet with simple instructions in more than one um, language. So clearly you're gonna want the English in the front if you're like me. So it is rated for 120 volts and the power is 600 watts like I told you earlier. And it is, uh, it is so cute and so handy um, now I'm gonna turn this off and I'll be right back as soon as I figure out a better angle to show it to you uh, better. And it's not, it's not a very long cord, which it shouldn't be because then it could cause uh, tripping accidents, but it isn't too short either. I think it's probably for the product that it is, I feel safe with the length of the cord that it is, but I can't find anywhere on the paper that tells me how long the cord is. So. I'm sorry that I can't give you that information. Let me just check again really quick. No, I just don't see anything about how long the cord is. Um, but if I had to guess, I would say, I don't know, three feet or more? I don't know, I'm not good at, at guessing things like that. All right, I'll be right back uh, with a different angle. All right, this was the best angle I could find. So we're plugged in, and the first thing you wanna do is switch it on in the back. And I'm going to hit the, um, the back button here. And the indicator light turns red. It's kind of hard for you to see the light. If I tip it up in any way, it will turn off. But it is a, a good wide, let me see if you could, I can't show it to you in a different angle because if I tip it up, it'll turn off. But you can see at least a little bit of it red. And then it's, it's quite hot. And then you hit the front button and it just automatically starts to oscillate. I love the little touch. There's no pressing, there's no buttons. It's just, you just touch it and it works. 
and you can see it's only a 45 degree turn and it's quite warm. Now, if I hit this back button again, you see the light turn to blue and it takes a moment, but the heat stops and the air just becomes just kind of neutral. It's not, it's a little warm, but it's not cold and it's not hot like it was. And just a little touch and it stops oscillating wherever you want it to. And then when you hit this button a third time, it takes maybe 15 seconds, that's what it said, 15 seconds, and it will shut off. Can you hear it running? It is a very light sound. Listen for it to shut off. There, it shut off. Now, I wanna show you the tipping. We're gonna, it's got the red light on it now, so we're gonna get it nice well, what I wanna do is make it blue because you can see the blue light better on the camera for some reason. And I'm gonna go ahead and tip this. So listen carefully for it to shut off. See that? And when it comes back up again, it's off. You have to manually turn it back on again. So it's not gonna continue running once you stand it up again. Let's tip it again. I love that. That is such a good safety feature. and. When you're talking about personal heaters like this, you need, you need a lot of safety. So I think this is cool. I really like it. I love the personal size. I have it on my table. I don't know exactly where I would put it. You can't put it on carpeting. Well, for one thing, uh, it wouldn't be able to, um, the tip over button on the bottom, it would not be stable enough on a carpet. Plus this is a heater, people. You don't want it on carpet. You want it on something solid. Um, I have a trivet. Where is it? Oh, hold on. Let me show you. Bear with me. This trivet here, let me dust it off. My daughter made it in high school. And it's just a wood and ceramic tile trivet here. And if I were to put this somewhere else, if I needed to put it somewhere, this would be I would feel safe with it on something like this. And of course it would be safe on my granite countertops here and things like that. It's got a cool bottom, but I'm just talking about how I feel about the safety features. I want you to see, oh, see that? I moved it around on the tile and it came undone. It, I mean, it turned off because of the, um, the grout between the tiles. It's such a sensitive little button, which you need for safety. There's a little handle in the back to hold it as well, to help carry it around. And this is the only information that it comes with. I give this a, a thumbs up, a two thumbs up, or a five star, out of five star product. Um, of course, I don't know the longevity of the, the product because I only just received it this week, but I am going to, um, uh, pull this out again once it gets hot. It is just September 1st, so we need to wait a, a couple months before it gets hot enough for something like this. And then I'm going to check and see, you know, just how toasty it keeps me. So if you like this type of product or you feel that you need it, one second. Heads up, I'm doing a video. Okay. Um, then you're gonna to want to check out the link I have down below in the description box, description box. And I, of course, will send you right to the page where you could look at this. And if you're interested in the other products, you can um, look up Fit First. They do have other electronic products for you to look into. And I, uh, I know I like it. It's just the perfect little size and it's so cute. I like the blue. And I hope if you give it a try that you like it too. Uh, give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Uh, subscribe if you haven't yet. I'll be bringing more types of uh, reviews like this for you, product reviews. And hit that uh, little notification bell as well if you want to be notified every time a new video of mine comes out. Until I see you again, be blessed.